All right, we're on page 33. We're going to go through the explain to section here. Uh, in the previous video, we went through rigid motions using coordinate notation. In this one, we're going to be going through non-rigid rotation, rotations, motions, sorry. Um, and so the only real difference is, whereas rigid motions um, maintained a shape's, uh, or a figure's shape and size and, and length and internal uh, angle measures, uh, non-rigid motions don't do that, right? They'll change the shape, they'll change the size of it, uh, they'll make it bigger or taller. So here's the big rule of thumb, though. When you, when you have a non-rigid motion, you're basically going to be multiplying the x or the y value by a, a set value, in this case a, that's either greater or less than 1, not equal to 1. But um, So you can see here that they'll be multiplying the x and the y by a non-one-valued number, and so or non-one or non-negative one-valued number. So, anyhow, um, <coughs> let's take a look at some of these examples here. Um, so, if you have an example here, x, comma y, you can see here that the x value is going to get doubled. So, where you have one, one times two is two, right? And then, and then, um, <coughs> and then the y value stays the same. Oh, in this case. Uh, the y value did not stay the same. I think that's just a typo there, because the rest of them, the rest of the y values are are all the same. It looks like so that's just probably a typo. But anyway, two times two is four. Two times two is four. Okay. Here you have one third y. So anytime you have y, you're gonna divide it by three. So three divided by three is one. Negative three divided by three is negative one. Negative three divided by three three is also negative one, and again, the, the x values in this case have stayed the same. Okay, so let's do the your turn uh, examples here. Um, we're going to draw the image of the figures uh, under the given transformation here. So it looks like we're going to take whatever the x value is and just divide it by two. So um, let's do the x values first. Negative two divided by two is just negative one. Four divided by two is two. Negative two divided by 2 is negative 1, and then the y values see the same 1, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the, the new image here. Negative 1, comma 1 is right here, so that's going to be my k prime. 2, comma, negative 3, 1, 2, 3 is right here, so this is going to be my l prime. And then um, negative 1, comma, negative 4 is going to be right here. So there's my new m prime. So let's go ahead and connect the dots right there. And then right there. And then lastly from right here to right here. So there's my new shape. And see, so you can clearly see that the height is preserved, but the, the width has, has changed drastically. So <coughs> there you go. Um, let's take a look at uh, your turn numbers 2 and 3. So you have this pre-image and image, and then the coordinate rule here, um, you're going to double the x um, by a factor of 2, and a vertical compression, in this case, of 1 third. So, um, I guess all we're doing is, is just copying this over. So, let's see. Let's, let's, let's do the pre-image first. 2 comma 6 is up here. This is my a. Negative 2 comma 6 is right there, and that's going to be my b. Uh, and then 2 comma negative 3, 1, 2, 3 is right here, and that's going to be my C. Looks like we're going to double the X and uh, divide the Y by 3. So uh, 4 comma 2, here's my new A prime. Uh, and then B prime is going to be negative 4 comma 2. So here's B prime. And then 4 comma 1, or 4 comma negative 1 is right here. That's my C prime. So... Ooh, hold on. I should have made this in different colors. Let's let's do the uh, pre-image first. Here's the pre-image. Here's the pre-image, and then let's make the, um, <coughs> the the new image in a different color here. Oops, right there. And then there's that, and then there's that. Okay, cool. Okay, so. You'll see it, it. It looks like it rotated, and it, it might have changed uh, the size of the shape as well. So, 
there's that. Um, number three. Okay, so they give you the points. Um, they don't tell you what happened though. So let's let's work backwards here. <coughs> looks like from two to one, it, it, it looks like you divided by two. So uh, it looks like what happened x y. Uh, what you did was you multiplied the x by one half. What happened to the y value? So one to three. So it looks like you multiplied by three, multiplied by three, multiplied by three. So um, three y <coughs> is what happened. That's according to rule. So Let's see, so, um, in this case, there was a horizontal compression by a factor of one-half and a vertical stretch by a factor of uh, of three, I think that's that's what happened there. Factor of three, okay. So um, let's go ahead and um, do the pre-image and image here. Two comma one is right here. There's my R. Uh, two comma negative one is my S. Uh, four comma negative two right there. This is my T. And um, mm, let me move the S out of here. Or let me reset. Them. Let's move the S over here. Okay, so um, here's my R to the S. Here's my S to the T. All right, there's that. And then let's change colors for the, the new image here. Uh, 1, 3 is right here. So there's my R prime. Uh, 1 comma negative 3 is right here. There's my S prime. And then 2 comma negative 6 is right here. There's my T prime. Okay, and I forgot to label my T prime there. Okay, so there we go.